Good evening, humans. Trans Rose Moth here, and welcome to the monthly vlog for August 2023. Let's do this. So here we are at August, and uh, I'll be honest, when I look at the, the calendar, I just realize it's 28th as I'm recording this. Uh, uh, for, I mean, I noticed that earlier in the day. I was like, well, shit, I gotta <laughs> record the monthly vlog. And uh, yeah, I just, it, this went by in an absolute haze. And before I fully get started, I just want to say, uh, our pre-apologize for any like pops or audio anomalies here. My mic has been going. Uh, I ordered a new one today, should be here Thursday. Um, so, you know, I, I work the next two days, uh, so I won't be recording videos anyway. But by the time I resume recording reviews, I should hopefully have some like clean audio that isn't popping all over the place. So uh, thank you for bearing with me. And uh, beyond that, uh, pardon me, I'm bring out my notes here. Um, wrong notes, there we go. So, I'm gonna try and keep this video as brief as possible. Um, again, just because I, I want to keep trying to be brief anyway. But uh, beyond that, just kind of, you know, if there is any audio craziness, I don't want to have to deal with it with me editing. So, and spare all of you naturally. So, yeah, so here we go. Uh, so, this month started off in, you know, post con fuzz, just complete overwhelm from. SDCC, the cons I had gone to personally, and just all that just craziness kind of simmering down, as you will. Uh, but that means that the pre-order deluge happened, and <laughs> that's uh, stuff coming in, that's uh, pre-orders from any of those cons kind of coming coming in and stuff like that. So, you know, they're, they're kind of different sort of overwhelm. Uh, pretty much a solid drip this month for the most part. Uh, re rel relatively manageable on my end, but I also canceled a ton of pre-orders just because it's like, I, I need to prioritize. <laughs> and it's become a lot easier lately. So there, there's been that. So I hope y'all have been dealing well with that and not having to cancel too many pre-orders. Uh, and I hope you have kind of been able to figure out, you know, what, what means more to you and kind of refining your collections as well. So all of that, uh, then we move on to stores and waves of, or not waves, but at least one wave each of like classified series, uh, WWE Legends, the Elites, uh, Jurassic Park Hammond collection, and even more have been hitting Target and Walmart, so I've been seeing those happen. Uh, there's been a couple updates coming up. Uh, specifically with Hammond Collection, um, with the new wave, uh, it finally hit the, the Target website. So uh, it looks like the dinosaurs, the baby Stegosaurus, and the baby T-Rex will be coming to stores in October. So that's good uh, because I need more. <laughs> I pre-ordered two more T-Rexes, and uh, uh, I didn't pre-order a Stegosaurus, but I'm hoping to, to find at least one out in the wild uh, come October. And uh, yeah, definitely I'm excited for October for a number of reasons beyond the normal, like it's Halloween. So yeah, that's pretty much it uh, in terms of just kind of what happened in my experience for this month. So uh, with that being said, let's move on to notable acquisitions for August right now. So notable acquisitions for August. And like I said, a constant drip of kind of pre-orders coming in and stuff hitting shelves and all that good stuff. So. It's been a little daunting, but still, again, with priorities in place, you know, really nice, actually. So we're gonna start off, actually, thanks to one of you. So shout out to Evil Villain, a, you know, friend through this channel who is just like, you know, you're awesome, man. I'm still looking for that uh, Mar uh, Legends Black Widow for you. Uh, just, they're not hitting shelves, certainly not around me. So uh, I will find it, but, um, in turn, what he sent in as a birthday present to me and got here here in August um, is the NECA quarter scale Leonardo, uh, movie Leonardo, and I'm floored. I mean, this thing is amazing. I haven't really had a chance to like pose it around too much yet, but uh, just I, I love the one tenth one, and this is just an insane amount of detail. And it's unreal. Like I don't know where exactly where I'm gonna put it uh, in terms of display, but it, it like it has to. I can't just put this away somewhere. So uh, this will definitely end up on display somewhere. Uh, hopefully, very very nicely. So just really looking forward to that. And uh, I guess if you want to see a review of that, please let me know in the comments below because uh, you know I, I'm totally open to it. But I've got such a backlog right now that I've got other stuff in the way. But if everyone wants to see me review that, I will gladly do it. So there's that. <laughs> Number two is the uh, Axie Toys Dinosaur Battlefield Carnotaurus Warrior. 
and uh, yeah, I'm all in on this line. I almost passed this up because I thought it was just going to be uh, what we got for the Warrior, just you know, with some new armor and stuff like that, and a new face sculpt. But uh, not only do we get that new face sculpt, but new articulation, all that. That review is already up, so please go look at that. Uh, give it tons of views. I kind of want to be noticed by Axie Toys for obvious reasons, so. <laughs> Uh, I just I, I'm loving everything they're doing. This is this is a great improvement over that the warrior version, and I love the warrior figure. So uh, yeah, so that's that's amazing. And finally, uh, a more recent acquisition. This, these shipped a couple days, a few days ago, and uh, I got mine the other day. So the WWE Ultimate Edition uh, Survivor Series Undertaker Gobbledy Gooker. And uh, as you can see, massive box. I'm gonna do an unboxing. So this is a review that we'll have an unboxing because of how just ridiculous this is. And there's there's a lot in here. So I'll be doing that. And yeah, I was really excited about that. That's probably the ultimate I was most excited about. I, I, I love that Ultimate Edition is taking chances, especially for exclusives, to do just absolutely stupid stuff. Like, I mean that in the best way possible. Like Gobbledygooker, like in Ultimate Edition, beautiful. So. <laughs> That are those are my acquisitions for August 2023. That brings us to uh, personal notes, wrap up all of that fun stuff. And uh, here, just you know, again, August flew by. I'm still floored we're here at the end of the month already. <laughs> um, but just in you know, personally, I went camping for the first time in a few years. That was actually fun. Um, you know, I'm not, not a huge camper, but uh, you know, when when, when everything kind of clicks and it's nice, it's it's nice. So that was cool. Uh, beyond that, chugging along at work at the, the, the night job, I'll say the day job, but I mean, I work overnights. Uh, things are moving along and, uh, you know, we're, we're coming up on September. So my son is going to be in school more, which means I'll get a little more sleep. I'll probably be a little less just out of it. Uh, so very much looking forward to that. So, uh, hopefully all, all the videos I have going on will be more coherent. I guess I am coherent, but I'll feel better with the results. <laughs> especially once this mic is fixed. Uh, so there's that. And then uh, beyond that, just completely random stuff. I've definitely been ramping up my horror movie viewing. There's a lot, I've had a huge like, huge gaps, especially with recent releases. Uh, some good stuff's been going on streaming, especially Hulu, which is great, because I finally got to see like Infinity Pool. Uh, I loved it. Um, though it was apparently the heavy edited version, so I'm looking forward to seeing the director's cut one way or another. And uh, yeah, just, that's kind of awesome, especially as we ramp up to um, October. And uh, actually, something I didn't include in my notable acquisitions that I should have uh, was the uh, Mezco Leatherface. And that's a figure I've been looking forward, forward to for literally a year, year and a half. And uh, it's here now. I've, I've only kind of like taken it out of the box and kind of like semi posed it around. Just absolutely loved it. Uh, and that's absolutely a notable acquisition. So awesome that we finally have that in hand. And uh, that, that review will go up in October. Again, I've, I've got a lot of stuff set up for October. Uh, I put aside a bunch of figures specifically to review for them. And uh, just because it doesn't seem to matter if I do stuff early or not. Actually, stuff I purposely try to get out early, I seem to get nothing. But if I wait, if I'm kind of behind the curve with some of my reviews, I seem to do better numbers. And I try not to concentrate on that, but it's just the way it works. And <laughs> again, I'm trying to, to make this work. I want this to be good I want to you know again have over a thousand subscribers and stuff like that and y'all have been great here and actually I'm gonna use that as a segue into just welcoming all the new viewers especially if you're watching this right now because uh, I've been doing pretty good with the subs and that's awesome that makes me happy <laughs> that that again kind of makes this feel just all the more worthwhile I'm gonna do it anyway but uh you know also getting some feedback and that that's what I'm looking for all the time like you know I, I want to I want to do better at this. I want to be giving you the information you want to see. So, uh, yeah, so thank you for everyone who's commented and subscribed and all that. And you know, welcome to everyone new. Um, you know, I, it felt weird in July to not have any wrestling figure reviews. And I've def I, I know I have gotten subscribers sp specifically for my wrestling figure reviews. Uh, and I can say there's a whole lot more coming up. <laughs> About a third of the reviews this month, maybe a little bit more were wrestling figures going forward. There's a lot more. My backlog of wrestling figures is ridiculous. So September is going to be crazy with wrestling figures. Uh, which I'm looking forward to. Again, that Survivor Series set. 
plus a whole bunch of other things. So look forward to that. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you for being here. You know, again, I hope the audio on this isn't too bad. I can't tell until I get into editing and then I hear like some videos have, a couple of videos have been easier to edit than others because of that. Um, but in any event, September and October will definitely be better, especially with the new mic. So yeah, all that, like, thank you for being here. Thank you for being yourselves. And I uh, hope, you know, if you just have this on the background, it's been at least good background noise. And uh, I'm actually keeping things to time I want to. Now I can see I'm at like four minutes, nine seconds right now. So <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this up and you know, I'll say that I will see you next month, hopefully. You know, I'll be here again at the end of the month, just kind of recapping everything going on. And uh, we'll just keep doing this. So a lot more reviews coming up, a lot to look forward to. And uh, I'll see you then. So as always, I hope you are well. I hope that all of your tour dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay where it's advanced.